Hi everybody, Jo here. Just popping in with a little tutorial that a couple of you, of you have um, emailed and asked me to do. And it's using the alcohol inks on this fabulous new black UPOL card. If I show you the packaging, it's all Lavinia stamps. I've got this fabulous look black UPOL card. And I've got to be honest, it's amazing. And I've just had a quick play and come up with this. But it's like everything, I just want to play more and more. So I'll pop that to one side. It does feel slightly thinner than the, um, than the white. So that's the first thing to bear in mind. You get 10 sheets. Now we're going to be using our alcohol inks. So obviously I've got my window open and Eric's not in here today. So if you can hear any noise, that's just from outside. I've got my air blower. Um, I'm going to be using the white, the Forever White alcohol ink, possibly some sea mist and possibly some um, peacock blue, depending how I feel, but definitely some silver thread. Now, again, the silver, give it a good shake. It's got a ball bearing in. Obviously, put your lid back on. Now, remember, our Absolute Blending Solution doesn't have any additive blenders in or uh, resins in that your alcohol inks doesn't have it's just like using alcohol ink so we can use our air blower with it we can use our puffer it's quite safe right so let's get started and I think we'll start off in the middle with some white here and we'll just come in with the blending solution and for the first bit I'm just going to use my blower and just give it a good blow around. And I think I'll come in with some blue. And this is just the way I work. You can devise your own system. I am a bit of a... I like to just keep adding... And what I've found, when you add the silver, if you add it on top of another colour and then blending solution and then look at that, just mixes beautifully. Just move it around. Add some more white. You just keep moving it round. If you think the silver's a bit heavy, bring any solution. And I just want to get a general sort of idea. Some more here. I think we'll have a little bit of the blue up here as well. Too much white there. So let's move that around. And basically, I'm just keeping playing. Need to move this side a bit. Just loosen this off a bit. You can reactivate it. I don't like that shape there. So let's move that. Move some of that blue into there. Now, I don't like that bit, so we'll move some of that. Let's 
just add right now what I tend to do is my first bit like this obviously this is just the first stage and then what I'm going to do is work on areas so for example here and what I'm going to do is I've decanted some of my pure blending solution into a spritzer and again I can spritz with it so I can just add some spritzing and again, I can move this round with my... This is where I like to do almost like my fine tuning with my air blower. And again, I'll just come in. You'll find the black almost dries quicker than on the white. But the effects you get are just so different. So here I just want to move this round a bit and as I say I'm almost doing my, my fine tuning. I don't like this bit here so let's just move this again. Let's have a look, I find it, I have to keep turning, turning it round right how we're we looking. Right this bit here just looks a bit strange. So let's reactivate that and just blow that that way and then that way. And the beauty of this, there is no right and wrong. You just keep working until you're happy. You see, I prefer that now. Can you, can you see that there? I think this is a much nicer shape than it was. And what I like to do, as I say, I've decanted some into a little spritzer bottle. And I like to just use the end. So this is just my pure blending solution. But I've decanted it, as I say. And I just want to add some flicks. And I love the way that this will start to work. And I'll just come in and dry it. Just to stop it. Um, because obviously it will keep blending. Right, so there we go. So where I've put the flicks look and then I've just dried it, we get these gorgeous almost cells. And I think that's lovely. I love this bit here. That's just a bit almost dog leg for me. So let's just see, maybe if I just spritz it. Just move it around a little. Just see if I can fall in love with that corner a little bit better. Let's just see if we can move some of this white and blue just into that area. If not, we'll just add a tiny touch of the blue. Just think it needs some blue in this corner. But I do this, you know, I say I've finished. And I'll just keep picking it up. Let's just mop this up. That's better. I much prefer that corner now. But I think that I love these areas here. I mean, such a fabulous effect. And just think, this is just using the blue the silver and the white. Imagine we've got so many other colours. Imagine what you can do with this. Anyway, I'm going to keep having fun. Just want to work on this bit here. I hope it's inspired you to have a go. If you've got your alcohol inks, get yourself some of this black card. Honestly, you'll be like me. You'll be making picture after picture. Anyway, I hope you've enjoyed that. Let's bring in the one I did earlier. Look, because no two ever look alike. Might just add a bit more white here. Hmm, don't know. Anyway, you take care. I'm going to carry on. 
just have a bit more fun with this and then it's going to be time to walk Eric. So that's the Black Upole card from Lavinia Stamps. Thanks for popping in everybody. You take care. Love and hugs. Bye for now.